Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Crafty Jackie, and I have a haul for you. I went to the Goodwill the other day, and I spent $64. There are a couple of things I'm keeping for myself, but the majority of the stuff I bought is to sell. And I was shocked at how much stuff... In fact, if I hadn't already been in there for like an hour and a half, and Ron was out in the truck staying in the air conditioning, he didn't want to come in... Um, I would have probably stayed a lot longer because, um, I missed, I didn't look at any of the artwork. I didn't look at a lot of things that I normally would because I just didn't have the time. But what I got are some, excuse me, some very ex exciting things. If you like thrifting and this type of stuff and getting bargains and antiques and collectibles then you should think about subbing to my channel and uh, press that notification button if you want to be notified when I'm going to put up a video also please put a thumbs up because um, that helps my channel I guess eBay looks at that a lot everybody's saying it so apparently eBay is looking for the thumbs up so with all that I'm going to get started alrighty I'm reaching here for a minute because this is big and I had to sit on the chair. I got this ginormous picnic basket. It is, I'm sure, quite old just by the make of it, how it's made, because I remember my mom and them having them. And I had wanted to buy one, oh, about a couple weeks ago at our, our resale shop for church and Ron said uh no it was up way up high and I don't know if he just didn't want to get it down or he didn't want one well I don't know how much that one was but it was spray painted black this one's natural it was and I love it I paid $4.99 I could not believe it so there was two of them I should have bought them both I could have stacked them but that's what I got Alrighty, um, I got, I'm going to pause this occasionally to get things closer to me, but, because I had to pile it all on one end of the table. The next thing I got, which needs desperately to be cleaned up, but, is this recipe box. And uh, it was made in Taiwan. Now, they have a price tag on the lid and the bottom, but I don't think they charge me separate prices. I hope not. But, anyway... You open it up, there's nothing inside, but it's nice and big for recipes. And uh, I paid, what I think I paid was 99 cents for this, which was a good deal. Uh, I got this really cool tin for Christmas. I think it's really cool anyway. We have lots of covered bridges in Indiana, not too far from here. So I thought that was kind of cool. It's from 1993. And it had uh, caramel corn in it. Now, the problem is, it's from Van Buren, Indiana also. Um, I cannot get the lid off. So I'm going to have to either work on it. Ron keeps saying it's not for this, but I do believe it is. But if it's not, then I guess it's just going to have to be something that you, you know, use for decor and put stuff on it and you can't put anything in it. I don't know. I don't know if Ron's right. I hope not. Alrighty, let's see. I got this, which I know it wasn't old, but um, I loved it, and I don't have hardly anything for St. Patty's Day. And it's this little thingy here. It looks, I mean, it's obviously an old uh, print that they've, you know, copied and put on stuff. It came from, some, I don't know, some kind of a store, probably like... Um, um, well, it says something recent. I, I paid 99 cents for it. It's made in China, of course. But some kind of wholesale place. I don't know. Ohio Wholesale. But I love it. I love the little shamrocks on here and stuff. I think it'll look real cute in a grouping or vignette, as some people like to say. I like to say it. Okay, these are my salt and pepper shakers. I'll move them. <laughs> Unless you want to buy them. Um, I got this, which I thought was very pretty. 
It's a real deep cobalt blue. And I love because it had a peacock on it. And it's got raised uh, stuff on it. I believe it's called Moriage. Um, I, don't, I don't know how much raised on it has to be to be, to be considered Moriage. But it is raised. I paid a dollar ninety nine, And of course, wouldn't you know, they'd stick it right on the stuff. But it was made in Japan. So, that is that. Alrighty. I'm going to keep reaching until I can't reach anymore. They had a lot of kitties <laughs> for some reason. And I know people love kitties. And this one I got, it was uh, 99 cents. Now, I don't know if it was one that someone made. Um, it looks like it could be. Uh, whoever made it did a very nice job. Um, I do notice it. I did not notice in there. The, our Goodwill is real dark inside. So I didn't notice, but it does have like a little tiny chip on his nose, which could very easily be touched up. And I just now notice there's a little chip on the bottom, but you don't see that. So, so I thought he was sweet. I actually like kitties. I'm just so allergic to them that I have to stay clear. And I found another, I found a third kitty and I have regretted not buying it. It was like flocked. I'm pretty sure it was pretty old, but. I hemmed and hawed on a couple of things that day, and I end up hawing right by it. Um, this was another kitty. It was also 99 cents, and uh, I'm pretty sure somebody painted this one as well. Although, like I said, there it's done very nicely. And I don't think there's anything wrong with this kitty, other than he needs a bath. And thank goodness he's a fake kitty, because my uh, ex-husband tried to give our cat a bath, and... I laugh to this day of the sight that I saw as he was trying to do this. He said, I thought you could give cats baths. I said, where did you hear that from? It was hilarious. And then I, f I tried to f I've been looking for Christmas stuff. Boy, it's kind of hard to find. Our, our Goodwill does not have Christmas stuff out. Um, just odds and ends, you know. It's not like... You see a lot of Christmas. There's like a whole section. But I've managed to find a few things uh, on my little visits. And I've found stuff at yard sales, which I was supposed to be going to a neighbor yard sale today. And, uh, man, it's been pouring. Although it's, I see it's sun's out now, so I might even have to end up changing my clothes. I've got on a pair of jeans, so I might have to take them off. Anyway, I, I, I ramble on as usual. Um, this is made by... Price products, some little letters, little, little red, red, <laughs> Taiwan. And it's just, I'm not a big bell person, but I liked this because it had a little dove on it, and I thought it was very pretty. And it has a nice little tinkle to it. So I got the bell, and that was um, 99 cents. They were big on 99 cents. And then I got this, which I thought was very pretty, uh, because it didn't, it's not your typical poinsettias, it's roses. And it's a nice little, like, candy dish, I would say. It was $1.99, and it says Fine China, 1982, I think it says, Royal Albert Limited. Actually, it might be 1962. But... I should have a magnifying glass here. But anyway, it's I just thought it was very pretty because um, roses are used to decorate at Christmas time, and I just thought that was real, real sweet. And the gold on it's in you know really nice shape too. So so yeah, that wasn't dollar ninety nine. Hi. And then I got this, and let me tell you, this thing it couldn't get any filthier if it tried. I don't know what they. I mean, some of it, I think, is aging on it, but I think some of it's dirt. I don't know. I don't know what... I'll, I'll see. But it is made by Art Mark. It was from Taiwan, and it's this old jalopy planter. I thought it was really cute. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with it, other than... There's, like, a little flea bite there. But I don't think there's anything really majorly wrong with it. Another little flea bite here. You know, stuff like that where the paint's been kind of knocked off. 
But I mean, uh, it's mainly in excellent shape. It's except for a little, a couple little issues. But I thought it was kind of cute, and uh, you know, if you got a vintage room, or I mean, I don't know, you could use it outside even. It's cool. It was only $1.49. All right, let me put this baby somewhere. I don't see a lot of planters at my Goodwills. But I did find a duck planter, and I thought he was very cute. He's, he's a duck. He's not a swan. He's not a goose. He's a duck. And he was 99 cents. There's a lot of crazing on him. Um, I do believe he's, you know, pretty old. Um, I don't see any chips on him. Just, he's just got a sassy beak. And he's ready to shake his little tail as he swims. In Hobart, Indiana, they have a, a place called Lake George. And there's lots of ducks on there. And it's so much fun to go on when we're not in our issues of the world. To go and you can feed them and... Um, they just, you know, they'll you'll throw stuff out and they'll dive down and get it and their little tails are shaking. It's so cute to watch, I think. Um, I think I'm going to pause here for just a second so I can get some more stuff close to me. So hang on, guys. Alrighty, here I am. Um, the first thing I was going to show you is they never have little bags of stuff usually, but they did have this little bag. They don't have like a wall of... Of grab bags. There is one resale shop that I do go to, a, like a, it's run by a bunch of churches. They have a wall like that, but not our Goodwill. But they had this, and it was, uh, I just have the paper here, the baggie. It was $1.99. And there were three little Christmas figurines in it, and so I thought, well, that's cool. I'm gonna, um, See if there's anything in there that, and I'm, it's stuff that's cute enough. There's a couple of bits in here that broke off stuff. I'm going to, I don't know if it's from this though. Anyway, the first thing is this darling little flocked kitty, striped kitty, and it's got like a little bottle brush uh, wreath almost. It's got on a little plaid scarf. And he is George Good Corporation, Japan. I thought he was very cute. I love little things because you can put them in a grouping of stuff. And um, I just think, you know, that they're really cute. Or if you got like a little, you know, a little a, sh a shelf. I have one that's just fits little things. So I like that kind of stuff. The other two are called Tiny Talk Collection. They are made in China. Uh... Uh, this is edition 5087, and this one's 5088. I don't know what that means. And one says Lisa, and one says Lori. Apparently, they were given to them for a gift or something. So, Lori's is called Frosty the Snow Mouse, and I thought that was so cute. Or just something about mice when they're in this kind of a thing that's so adorable. Um, there is a little bird that has come off, and I'm going to glue it back on because, I mean, I have it, and it, you wouldn't even know it had been off if I didn't tell you. And then the other one is, um, and I don't think there's anything off of this one. I don't see anything. It's called Playing Santa. So I think these are really cute. Again, little tinies that you can put, you know, in a vignette, in a grouping, tuck it in anywhere, just to give a little something, something to your decor. Alrighty. And then I found this, and this was a little pricey. Um, it was $4.99. It's a Homco piece, home interior from 1988. Um... They used to have a whole line of this stuff. I can't, let me pull this tag off. I'm not sure why it was so expensive, but but it was. Uh, these are called Circle of Friends by Masterpiece. This was their top of the line. Masterpiece was their top of the line figurines. It says, Christ is the star of my life. 
and I just thought it was very cute and pretty. It's done real nicely. You know, the porcelain is, um, the colors are nice, and I did not see any issues with it whatsoever. So, I thought that was real cute. Not sure if I'm going to keep it or I'll sell it. Don't know. I'm not sure how much it would be worth. If it's not worth anything more than $4.99, I'll probably not sell it. Um, I got this birdie. I thought he was pretty. Uh, I was shocked to find any kind of things like this. And uh, the only issue that I've seen, I didn't realize it's so, it's under, his, on the bottom part of his beak is like a little flea bite. And then there's one petal missing, but I didn't even notice it. You don't notice it from the front, so um, I paid 99 cents for this. And I don't know where it was made, but it looks to me very Japan-like, so... I know it's old. That I just by t looking at the bottom, I can tell it's old. Alrighty, I bought this, and I knew the arrow right away because I remember the stuff like in the '70s. And it's a little girl. It's a little girl with very short hair, uh, with a bird and a birdhouse. Um, one of her little fingers is missing. I thought it was on it when I bought it, so I don't know if the, when they wrapped it, it got, you know, it's kind of a delicate part. But this is Ardco, made in Taiwan, the Republic of China. Um, that's the first time I ever saw that sticker, the Republic of China, after that. Uh, it was $1.99. I found, and I searched and searched, I was lucky I found one more of these glasses. I think they're so pretty. I, I found three of them. Now, to me, this would definitely be something you could use at Christmas time. Even though it's grapes, uh, I just, to me, red is Christmas. And um, they were 99 cents each, and I did research, and they're from, um, they're made by uh, Anchor Hawking. So I got those. I got this. It's for my daughter. It was definitely made in China. I knew it was when I got it. Uh, it was 99 cents. But my daughter's birthday is coming up. And I loved this because it wasn't... I mean, not that I don't like the angels, but I just thought this was absolutely adorable. Um, with a little sailor suit on it and stuff. And it says... July, water lily floats upon the pond, watching July's fireworks and fireflies. It was 99 cents. And uh, I'm going to have to do some cleaning up of it, but I think it's really precious. I, I'm sure she'll love it. All right. Then I got these, which I think look extremely Art Deco. I know Ron said it was his favorite thing I bought, but these uh, creamer and sugar, uh, they are chrome. It doesn't say it, but I mean, I know they're chrome. I don't see any marking on it anywhere. Um, but I paid uh, $2 for the set. Because, of course, they marked them separately. But um, I think they're really cool. I, I loved them. They look very 50s to me, but Art Deco 50s, it, they look like 50s stuff to me. Um, I got this eagle, which is real heavy. Um, I guess it's resin. I don't know, but it's real heavy, so I don't know if it is or not. Um, he looks old. He's an old eagle, and I, th I, I think it's an eagle. I don't think it's a hawk, but it could be a hawk, and it, it was 99 cents. I got these, which I... They had them all taped up, and I couldn't even tell what the, exactly they were, but they're these candlesticks, candle holders. And uh, they're not flash painted because, you know, I checked them out. Um, I think they're depression glass of some kind. I don't, I haven't done any research on them or anything yet. If anybody knows, let me know, but uh, I think they're, I do believe they are depression glass. And I paid two ninety nine for those. Hello, I'm back. Oh, you didn't know I left. <laughs> okay. This is my last group of stuff to show you. 
Uh, I got this, which weighs, it's glass. It weighs, it's really heavy. I paid $3.99 for it, but I loved it. It's, it says New York, and it has the Twin Towers. And, you know, it's going to be where these are going to be collectible things because we don't have Twin Towers anymore. So it, it has to weigh at least two pounds, at least. I paid $3.99 for that. This, and I... Hold on one second. Let me see what I... The next thing I'm going to show you is my one disappointment. I paid $2.99. Now, this was all taped together, so I didn't even know where it was made from because the price tag was on the back. And this stuff is from... Um, crate and barrel and uh, I think it's still cool stuff I'm going to sell it anyway even if it isn't old um, it's a little individual creamer and uh, of course it says made in China porcelain made in China and then there's one, two, three, six of these little individual um, like salts or you could put like um that I would say individual salts, but uh, they could be for the um, like the dipping oil too. I don't think they're really big enough for that, but they might be. But anyway, there's six of those, and I thought, and, and this stuff is greasy. The next thing I'm going to show you is really greasy. In fact, I haven't even taken off the tape or the stopper yet because I, I just hadn't done it yet. All right, and as is this, this is a very heavy. It's got to be lead um, crystal, and it's cut, you know, cut crystal. It has a beautiful glass stopper. I bought it for Ron and I use for vinegar and, or for like vinegar or oil, and he said I'm not going to use that thing. It's too pretty and it's way too heavy, so I'm going to sell it. Um, but it's very beautiful, and I know once it's cleaned up, it is going to be gorgeous. So. As I said, I paid two forty nine for that, which I thought was a pretty good deal. All right, let's see what else we got here. I have this, which I know is really old. It's from Japan, and Jesus is missing his hand here. This is a little halo keeps flopping down. Uh, it's got two little angels, one on each side, and it says, "May the blessings of the Christ Child be with you always." Now, I bought this for myself. There was no price on it, and luckily they only charged me 99 cents because you never know at the cash register what they'll slap on you. But I have two granddaughters that passed away when they were infants. They were twins. And so um, okay, if I find anything that has, like, double little girl twin, you know, angels, I will buy it. Most everything I have is, I don't have that many. I only have, like, two or three things. But they're all new stuff. But this I found, and I just absolutely loved it. And it, the girls were born in June. And so I, it's just my remembrance of them. They were precious for the little bit of time we had them. So I got that for me. Even with if Jesus only has one hand. This is not marked, but I knew it was old just by looking at it. And it's this little footed... I don't know, dish. I guess you use it for candy or like at the table for olives and stuff. And I only paid a dollar forty nine for it. Um it is transferware, I do believe. It looks like it is. But I thought it was really pretty. But I can't believe it doesn't have any kind of anything on it. But it doesn't, so all right, let me see here. Now, I mean, I'm trying to set a few things up. I got this wreath. Uh, Dollar Tree never has these very substantial wreaths, and I do make a lot of them. I paid a buck ninety nine for this. The next day was going to be half off, but I thought if I don't get the stuff today, it probably won't be here. A lot of it won't be here tomorrow, so that's why I got it when I did. Oh, by the way, that big tin I was trying to get, I couldn't get the lid off. I paid 99 cents for that. Oh, 
so I'm going to cooperate. So we'll put it in for now. Uh, I bought this because it was in such beautiful shape. I loved the baskets of flowers and stuff on it. I paid $1.49 for it. And it is made by, it has scratched in the bottom 1951. Whoever owned it scratched the year, I guess. They got it. But it's, um, let me see what this, who is it by. Wilson Specialties Company Incorporated, uh, Brooklyn, New York. So I thought that was really neat. It would be a, a nice, it's like a tray. You could use it for, you know, on a table with decorations in it, or you could, you know, use it to serve food in it, whatever. I, I have a few that I use for food. This one I'm going to sell. I just think it's uh, really pretty, and I'd like to share it with somebody else. All right. Getting down to the last stuff. I found these, which I thought were in excellent shape because usually they're all bing banged up. But these are um, pewter candlesticks, weighted. They're really heavy, and I paid two forty nine. I don't know if it was a piece or together for these, but I think they're really nice shape. Really pretty. I think Goodwill should change that policy of the pricing individually stuff. And the next stuff, let's see. I got this, which is, it is, um, it was made in October of 73. It's tarnish resistant um, uh, silver plate. And it's a uh, little napkin holder. I remember these in the 70s very much. And I paid a dollar forty nine for this. It's in very good shape, so it would look nice with that cream and sugar. And then I got this stuff. I got this pot, which was three ninety nine. It is missing the lid. I figured it had a lid, but uh, it didn't. I didn't see the lid anywhere. If it was there, it wasn't with it. Um, it was made in two thousand and two. And it's in really good shape. There's one little, no, it's dirt. It's just dirty. Uh, so I got this, and it came with, it had a lid, and it came with two um, um, soup mugs. And they're also, you know, enamel. I paid 99 cents for each of these. And then there's this soup ladle, but I don't know if that it belongs to it because I didn't see it. It's got a different label on it. But the pot with a lid and the two mugs, one sold for $57 and one sold for $55 on eBay. So I don't know if this one will do that well, you know, without the lid. But even if I got 40 out of it, that's a pretty good profit. And then the little soup ladle was $0.99. Cents. Let me see what's underneath here. And it says... Made in Thailand. So, people who, you know, have the farmhouse look and stuff, this would be a nice little addition with it being white. You don't find white stuff very often. So, I do believe that that is my haul, all of it. Uh, I hope you guys will have a good day, and uh, I will see you in my next video. I'm hoping to get my live stuff going this weekend. My grandson's going to help me. I'm having it's computer issues that's keeping me from doing the sale. So hopefully he's going to come over and get me going. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I will see you at some of the sales. Um, just remember, and I'm saying this for sure, please wash your hands and wear your masks. Keep Everybody's safe. Okay? Thanks. Bye.